Pilker, thanks very much for joining us. Um, affordability has been one of the key topics of the past 12 months. Um, so what are you seeing in terms of the market across Europe? Yeah, if we look from a broader perspective, you really see structural things happening. Uh, we see uh, strong population growth. We see even stronger household growth. Uh, people uh, living more and more in cities. So the prediction is that from 50% now in the future, 2050, uh, almost 70% of people will live in, in uh, cities. Uh, there's already quite a demand supply imbalance nowadays, and that's only getting stronger and stronger. And it leads to uh, more unaffordability uh, in the major cities in Europe, in the major cities across the globe. And that's really causing a problem. That's really a challenge that we uh, see that's creating social divide and inequalities uh, in these cities. And that's really something where, uh, well, we think institutional investors can do something about and uh, a challenge that we could address by building uh, by building our strategies. Yeah, and that's interesting, Hilke, because there's obviously a big focus on what cities and national governments can do. Um, but what is the role of the investor here in terms of solving this? Yeah, so it's a fair point. It's a common responsibility. So municipalities and governments uh, have this affordability issue high on the agenda. You see a lot of increased regulation across different uh, cities. But from an institutional investor perspective, there's a lot of capital available. The residential uh, market is really attractive uh, to invest in. We see uh, the investment volumes going up. So we are really responsible also for leading that available capital into uh, the affordable housing sector where it's actually needed and really uh, try to solve the challenge with the capital which is available by, by creating the right strategies uh, and leading the institutional capital into the affordable residential market. In terms of the cities, you're obviously active across Europe. So what are you seeing in terms of the opportunities? And is it a consistent picture or, or different stories from city to city, Hilke? Yes, so we have looked into this uh, quite uh, intensively in the last uh, two years to try to answer this. And we see affordability, as I just explained, is a common issue in all uh, cities, but especially in the major cities. So we built a, a city scoring model where we actually ranked the uh, biggest 150 cities in Europe, where we looked uh, into detail, into market dominance, into market growth, into unaffordability. And we see that especially in the, in the top 15, top 20 cities, affordability is becoming more and more an issue. And that's where we really can make, uh, make a difference. So overall regulation is increasing. Take uh, Berlin as an example where uh, a rental freeze was uh, installed uh, a bit with a focus on the short term to to uh, to get more affordable houses uh, for lower and, uh, and middle incomes um, and other countries are less restricted like finland for example or the uk so municipalities governments react differently uh, but the challenge and the the common theme of affordability is uh, is the same in all major cities and Hilke, do you see this going forward as as part of a larger impact strategy? Yes, sure. Uh, I think that really uh, institutional investors should take this responsibility and lead that capital into the affordable housing uh, piece. So our research uh, showed where the main affordability issues uh, are. We really see that especially middle incomes are pushed out of the cities and cannot afford to live there uh, anymore. And I really see it as our responsibility and maybe even our obligation to make an impact there, to contribute to inclusive cities and uh, communities and invest uh, in those areas where is it uh, really needed. And that's really based uh, on demand, demand driven, where tenants really uh, want to be. And that's also something that we cannot do on our own. So we will really need uh, to have close partnerships with municipalities, uh, with project developers, uh, developing the right product. So it's not only about affordability, it's also about quality. It's quite easy to, to offer an affordable home of, let's say, 20 square meters, but that's not really what, what we should be looking for. So focus on sustainability and well-being, good surrounding, public transport in the, in the neighborhood, uh, amenities, etc. That's really important as well. So it's really about that combination where we should focus on. So not only by ourselves, I hope that other institutional investors will do so as well. We see uh, this movement uh, happening. So that is uh, 
very positive and we really need to cooperate with uh, close partners in the future. And what makes it attractive, Hilker, as an investment opportunity to be invested in this affordable sector? Yeah, so we are really in there for the long term. We have uh, seen in the past that especially investing in uh, the middle segment uh, is delivering resilience. It's a stable sector and delivering long term cash flow. So it's not only the impact we can make, but it's also really long term stable cash flow that we uh, can deliver for, uh, for investors. If you look in the past, after the uh, global financial crisis, we saw still occupancy rates in this segment of around 98% in the residential sector. And that is really attractive. And looking to the long-term demand supply imbalance, we expect uh, that the resilience is there to stay. I think that resilience is going to be key going forward. And so very interested to get your view on the sector. Thanks very much, Hilke. You're welcome.